what folate is? Don't get confused about folate and folic acid, so let's find out. Folate is a water-soluble vitamin, also known as B vitamin, that is naturally present in many foods. Your body needs folate to make DNA and other genetic material. Your body also needs folate for your cells to divide. A form of folate, called folic acid, is used in fortified foods and most dietary supplements. The amount of folate you need depends on your age. Average daily recommended amounts are listed below in micrograms of dietary folate equivalents or DFA. For birth and infants, the need is around 65 micrograms and 80 micrograms. For children aged 1 to 13 years, the need is 150 to 300 micrograms. Then for teenagers and adults, around 400 micrograms. Pregnant women have the highest requirement of around 600 micrograms. But for breastfeeding mothers, it is around 500 micrograms. Folate is naturally present in many foods, and folic acid is added to some foods. Folate is naturally present in beef liver, vegetables, especially asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach and mustard greens, fruits and fruit juices, especially oranges and orange juice, nuts, beans, and peas such as peanuts. Meanwhile, folic acid is added to the following foods such as enriched bread, flour, cornmeal, pasta, and rice, fortified breakfast cereals, and fortified corn mesa flour which used to make corn tortillas and tamales. Folate is also available in multivitamins and prenatal vitamins. It is also available in B-complex dietary supplements and supplements containing only folate. In dietary supplements, folate is usually in the form of folic acid but methylfolate is also used. Faint dietary supplements containing methylfolate might be better than folic acid. However, people who could become pregnant should get 400 micrograms a day of folic acid for both mom and baby health. So, what happens if we lack a folate intake? You maybe have this symptoms. Folate deficiency can also produce soreness in and shallow ulcerations on the tongue and oral mucosa, gastrointestinal symptoms, and changes in skin, hair, or fingernail pigmentation. The primary clinical sign of folate deficiency is megaloblastic anemia, which is characterized by large, abnormally nucleated erythrocytes. This anemia has several symptoms that you should be aware of. Inadequate maternal folate status has been associated with the risk of giving birth to a baby with various health problems. Can excessive folate consumption have a negative impact on the body? Of course, yes. Large amounts of folate can correct the megaloblastic anemia, but not the neurological damage. That can result from vitamin B12 deficiency. Exceed intake of folic acid, the body's ability to reduce it, has been linked to reduced numbers and activity of natural killer cells that could affect the immune system. Concerns have also been raised that high folic acid intakes might accelerate the progression of preneoplastic lesions, increasing the risk of colorectal and possibly other cancers in certain individuals. Are you in a group at risk of folate inadequacy? Let's take a look. This following groups are among those most likely to be at risk of folate inadequacy. People with alcohol use disorder frequently have poor quality diets that contain insufficient amounts of folate. Moreover, alcohol interferes with folate absorption and hepatic uptake, accelerates folate breakdown, and increases its renal excretion. All women capable of becoming pregnant should obtain adequate amounts of folate to reduce the risk of natees and other birth defects. During pregnancy, demands for folate increase because of its role in nucleic acid synthesis. People with malabsorptive disorders, including tropical sprue, celiac disease, and inflammatory bowel disease, might absorb less folate than people without these disorders. People with a genetic polymorphism in the methylenetotrihydrofolate reductus gene have a reduced ability to convert folate to one of its active forms. Here's some folate might play a role in diseases and disorders. Fremging evidence suggests that periconceptional folic acid supplementation might reduce the risk of autism spectrum disorders The folic acid's role in DNA methylation, which in turn can affect neurodevelopment. However, secondary factors linked to depression, such as unhealthy eating patterns and alcohol use disorder, might also contribute to the observed association between low folate status and depression. Folate and other B vitamins are involved in homocysteine metabolism, and researchers have hypothesized that these micronutrients reduce cardiovascular disease risk by lowering homocysteine levels. B 
Because of its role in the synthesis of DNA and other critical cell components, folate is especially important during phases of rapid cell growth.